Welcome to episode two of Breaking Down and Learning How to Be Like Wolverine in Real Life. If you haven't seen the first part, definitely go check it out because it goes into all the details about breaking down his fighting style and uh, showcasing some of the techniques that we're gonna be learning in the future. And in this video, we're just gonna be breaking down another one of his combinations that we see him do in the movies. Specifically, this one right here. What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing Avery to send a superhero hat and welcome to the Modern Ninja channel and specifically the Become a Superhero series. Today we're going over Wolverine. Now like I said, I went into his breakdown um, in the first episode, so if you want to see that, definitely go check out episode one of this series. So I'm going to assume for the sake of both of our times that you watched the first episode, but did you know that he has a kid? Yeah, I know most of you are familiar with X-23 or Laura Kinney, but she's technically not his kid. He may see her as a daughter and she may see him as a father figure in many of their iterations, but because she is a clone, they are genetically closer to siblings than anything else. But he does have an actual son in the form of Dakin, and let me tell you, Dakin hates him. Dakin also rocks three claws like his papa, but the, instead of having three come out of his fist, that middle one comes out of the bottom of his wrist, kind of like if you took like a really edgy Spider-Man and mixed him with Wolverine. I bet you didn't know that one, but if you did, let me know the most obscure Wolverine fact that you got down in the comments. But let's get into the tutorial. All right, guys, and we're into the tutorial. This is going to be a scene from X3, I want to say, where Wolverine and some of his other X-Men are holding the line, protecting the uh, mutant child that can erase mutant powers. This is honestly a great example of how Wolverine uses that strategic mind to protect others like we talked about in the first episode of this series. And of course, I'll be using these brass claws because I have two of them and I don't have two of the other Wolverine claws. So if you want these or want two of the other ones, I'll leave the links to both in the, in the description down below. And just like the last video, I'm a little sick and under weather during this, so if you can hear it in my voice, I am very sorry, but let's get to it. We're gonna start off holding the line just like Wolverine in our Wolverine pose. You can choose a different pose if you really want to, but in this scene, we're holding the line, so we're gonna start there. From here, we're gonna take the first guy coming in at us by dropping both our hands to our left hip. Again, I just slightly rotate, dropping both hands to the left hip, for a double up slash coming across. And as I do this, I do take a little step with my right leg just to keep my body movement and my body uh, weight in my strikes as opposed to reaching off and being off balance. You want the center in between your legs, the center of gravity in between your legs. And so stepping allows you to do that. Again, dropping both hands to that hip, stepping out, double slash. Then we start with a classic Wolverine one-two combo with right and left respectively. Then we actually take a step out of the normal Wolverine style because normally, like we talked about in the last video, Wolverine goes run, two, three, four. He goes right, left, right, left. In this one, he actually goes right, left, backhand, left, backhand, right, which is kind of unique. Um, but a still great combo nonetheless. So to get those back hands, we start with our left. So after we do our left slash, we come across just and rotate with our hips as we do it. Again, our goal is to put our body weight into each one of these strikes. And then as this guy is falling, we just want to add insult to injury, basically giving him a backhand of sorts, but with our claws bring our claws up by our ear, our right hand up by our left ear, and rotating into that last slash as, again, we drop our weight into it. I know Hugh Jackman is not, but Wolverine is generally short, and so we, he makes sure to use all his body weight every time he does his strikes. So we have our first hand to the left hip, step out with the right leg, double slash. Then we have our one-two combo, right, left, then we have it in reverse, backhand, prepare by the ear, drop the last guy. From here, we see our next opponent coming in. We're going to deflect 
and come around, double slash. And again, as we double slash, it's shifting our weight into that next target. So one more time, block away, double slash through, which winds us up for our left hand uppercut slash and our right hand across the body. And that's how we finish our combo with just that one, two classic Wolverine uh, combination. So one more time all the way through, start from our pose, dropping our hands to our left hip, stepping out, double slash up. From here, we're gonna go one, rotating, two, rotating, three, rotating back, preparing the hand at the, at the ear, four, dropping our last opponent, or next, that opponent, going to our next guy, block, double slash through, uppercut, body slash. And then you could finish in whatever Wolverine pose suits you. And guys, I'd love to know if you guys like how this series is going. Uh, I wanna do a more long in-depth series of videos for more characters. So I'm thinking about doing like Batman next or Captain America or whatever. So please let me know in the comments if you like this video series or this video type and subscribe if you wanna see the rest of them. But let's go back inside. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you wanna see these videos way earlier than anyone else, become a member, it will both help me out and help the channel out by you know supporting us and helping me be able to create better and better videos, as well as you'll get access to my videos before anyone else does. So if that's something you're interested in, definitely check it out. I really hope you guys are enjoying the new series and I'm trying to decide what the next character will be, whether that's Batman Arkham or the MCU Captain America or someone else entirely. So let me know again down in the comments below. But until next time, my name's DJ Moore, this is the Modern Ninja, and I'm out. Be the Modern Ninja, but lift off. Just know I'm dangerous. Baby, perfect. I'm on that Bruce Lee flow like water, state of mind. Got me going farther than I ever thought I could have been. Gotta grab a sheet of paper as you know I got the pin. Anybody want to smoke your whole career be looking grim. Out here flashing chains while your boy been in the gym. Watch me spitting flames while the frost